Here are four AI systems that we've sold to e-commerce businesses. These are use cases that almost any e-com business can benefit from. So these can be great use cases to sell if you're an AI agency or to implement if you're an e-com business. And in this video, I'll walk you through the solutions. And if you want these templates and many more, you can check out my AI Accelerator, where we help you learn AI automation, get unlimited one-on-one -on -one tech help, and help you build and grow your own AI business. And if you're a business looking to work with my AI agency, you can also book a free call with us in the description below. Now, the first system is a customizable customer support chatbot widget that can give product recommendations and customer support. Now, of course, I don't have an e-com business, but I just deployed it on my own website quickly here so you can see. And uh, we built this system using a combination of NADN, Airtable, and uh, Chatwood, which is a, an app we've live coded ourselves to make these customizable chat widgets for any website. Now, this widget and the entire system can be installed really fast on any e-com uh, website. Uh, and can give these product recommendations, can resolve questions, but also has human handoff built in whenever necessary through that ticketing dashboard on Airtable uh, to manage, for example, any unresolved issue or complaint. It can also send emails to customers informing them about opened and closed tickets. Now, this is a very common request we get from e-com businesses because customer support is often overloaded in high volume e-com businesses, and therefore they either don't have any pre uh, sub sales support or it's really inefficient and time consuming so we've made this really easy and fast to deploy for any e-com store which i'll explain in a second so the way it works is when we want to create this for a new website we basically use this nadn form uh, to fill out the new e-com website and then the first part of the automation is triggered where we basically crawl the entire website and scrape all the content including all the product pages from this e-com store we aggregate this data and convert all of the data into a PD, into PDFs or multiple PDFs, and then upload it to the Google Gemini file storage. And this basically creates a vector store or a RAG or a knowledge base um, for our AI agent later uh, without very complex database management. Because a lot of these companies don't have that set up or it might take a lot of time. So this new Google Gemini file search approach makes it really easy and fast to create custom knowledge bases for companies like these. So as you can see, what we do here is basically we, we create a PDF here, right, with the Google Drive. Then we upload it to a file store on Google uh, Gemini. And then we just take the name from the file store here, this one, which we can then later add simply to a knowledge base of our AI agent who answers the customer's question here. So it's a really nice and easy way to create these custom knowledge bases. Then for the customer support agent, now we've learned a few things while deploying uh, these systems for businesses is that first of all we've learned that we need multiple agents because we need to escalate potential problems bugs or complaints to humans while general product or support questions can be resolved directly through an ai agent now we have therefore a classification agent first that classifies if this user query flags a potential problem or is just a question we can answer through the knowledge base and based on that it gets routed to the customer support agent or the agent who can uh, open a new ticket inside of Airtable here. So basically this agent can just answer the customer's query and this agent, if there's a potential problem, he still can uh, use the knowledge base to answer a question. But if it's really a problem he doesn't have an answer to, he can open a ticket in Airtable and notify a human to step in. For example, if I would say something like um, the link to the SEO solution is broken, I get a 404. Then it will flag it and it will be routed to the customer support agent who can open a ticket. You can see that the agent now asked me, uh, I can escalate this to the team. Just let me know your name and email. So for example, I can say, Ben, my name is Ben. My name is Ben. My email is ben at benai.co. And the system will now automatically create a ticket inside of uh, Airtable. And it will also send an email to the customer notifying them of an unresolved ticket. So if I open my email, you'll see that I get requests that not acknowledged and it was, the same will happen if an issue is resolved. Now, this might not be the best question, but it's also gonna be for complaints or problems with products, etc. And it will also have created a ticket inside of the ticketing dashboard, as you can see here, broken link, right? Now the customer support team can check it out, right? And also decide to close a ticket will automatically be moved there and also uh, the customer will be notified also about the resolution details here by the way is the system to create a record and send an email to the customer um, but you can read the full prompts if you clone the template 
And if you're going to clone this template, all you need to do is import the JSON file that you can find in Accelerator. You'll need to add your Firecrawl API in order to scrape these websites, of course. Uh, you also need to uh, connect your Google Drive and Google File Storage uh, API, which is, by the way, the same API as uh, your Google LNM API. Then once you've scraped your website, you'll need to uh, copy this link and add it into the knowledge base here in the JSON. You can, of course, adjust the prompts a little bit according to your specific use case. And then you can test the workflow here in the chat. And once it's ready, you can use our free tool, which is called Chatwood, where you can uh, customize the widget and deploy it easily onto our website. So you can see it here in the configuration. You can just add in the webhook URL from NADN. So you can go in here, just copy this, add it into the, the app. You can make a free account, right? Then you can add in your own logo. Uh, name, you can customize the appearance to your brand, and then you get an embed code, which you can copy. And depending on your website, you just add it in the header tag and the widget will automatically appear in the corner of your website. Again, if you need help setting this up or customizing it a bit, we do have one-on-one -on -one unlimited tech help available in my accelerator. So the second system is an automatic bulk product optimizer for Shopify. Now, this is really valuable for e-com stores as many tend to have hundreds, if not thousands of products. And each of these product pages and listings, they usually have to be optimized for users, first of all, and for SEO in order to rank on Google and AI search in different languages. And this tends to be an extremely time intensive and manual job for many companies. So we built this system using a combination of Airtable and NADN. And this system basically allows a company to just export all their products from Shopify. Now, I don't have a Shopify account, but you can export all your product listings uh, in a CSV from Shopify. They can ju just upload it here, uh, the CSV. And then it automatically generates uh, SEO optimized uh, meta titles, descriptions, product descriptions, FAQs, uh, tags. And it even uh, does this for multiple languages for all of the products in your CSV, which you can see here. So you get all these optimized descriptions here and the entire content with the FAQs. And then of course, for all of the products, you can export that back into a CSV very simply here by just changing the status here to read only. And you'll, uh, will get a CSV back, which the company can then upload directly into Shopify to have all their product listings optimized. So how does it work? Uh, whenever a user just uploads the CSV here and creates a new project. Um, then the first part of the workflow is triggered here, which is this one, which processes all of the rows and all of the data from the CSV and adds it into the database inside of Airtable. So you can see it gets the CSV from the Airtable. We download the CSV, we do some code uh, formatting here, and then we loop over each of the rows to get all of the data into the Airtable. So then we get the original data from the Shopify into the Airtable, and then the second uh, workflow here will be triggered. Uh, which gets each of each of the rows and runs it through the AI pro uh, product optimizer LNM, which generates all the the optimized descriptions, titles, uh, etc. FAQs, and then again uploads that back into uh, the Airtable. A user that can then still check if everything's all right and make any changes if he wants to. Uh, so he can go through all the products and once he's ready, he can just export it back into a CSV through this uh, form here, which will trigger the last. Uh, part of the workflow, which outputs the optimized data back into a CSV. So we use the create CSV file here and output it back into Airtable, which can then the CSV be uploaded to Shopify to bulk update all of these product listings. Pretty straightforward workflow, I think, but can save e-com teams uh, a lot of time. So if you're going to clone this template, you just need to clone uh, the Airtable database and the NADN JSON file, which again, you can find in my AI accelerator. Then you have to connect your Airtable account to all the Airtable nodes here inside of NADN. Of course, you have to connect your uh, specific LNM provider. We use um, Gemini 3 for this one. And of course, you have to change your webhook here at the beginning um, and connect it to your Airtable account. Now, the third system is an automatic product ad generator. This is a great system um, for many e-com businesses because many of these run hundreds of ads for all, the, all of their different products on Meta. It's one of the most used acquisition channels for e-com businesses. And although many of the ads for uh, many e-com businesses are very similar in nature, this is mostly still done uh, manually and therefore extremely time intensive. So we've built this system using a combination again of NADN, Airtable and Nano Banana Pro, of course, to uh, generate the images. So this system allows a company to upload a product image here 
Uh, from there, the system can automatically do product research here on the specific product. It can also be done manually to get more information on the product before creating the ad. Then also a reference image can be added. If a company wants a similar layout and style of ad, uh, this can also be a reference image of a competitor of an ad they like, for example. And based on that, it will create five variations of ads uh, through a prompt. Now, a prompt for that can be generated automatically here and also has human in the loop if you want to change the angle. And then according to the variation, it outputs different um, types of uh, ads according to the different angles inside of the prompt. So you can see it follows the brand style, the tone and the reference image. So your daily dose of clarity, we get a few options and the company can choose the one they like most. And then lastly, in the ad gallery here, you'll find all the created ads. And from there, you can also generate the ad copy. So for example, here, you can click this and the ad co copy will automatically be created. Of course, this has a database behind the interface, as you can see here. But we just use the interface to make it a bit more user-friendly. Uh, now, how does the automation work here? It's quite straightforward. I think this first part of the workflow gets triggered when a company has uploaded a product image uh, to generate a, a product research, which will help, of course, when we generate the ads. So this product research here is done by, through the Perplexity API to get more details on the product. Of course, this can also be done manually. Then in the second part of the workflow, this one will be triggered when there was no reference image uploaded. So in this case, it will download the original product image, add it to the LNM here, which will create five different uh, variations inside of one prompt and outputs the prompt back into Airtable so the user can still uh, adjust the prompt or the variation of the ad if he wants to. If the user then wants to generate the ads, the third workflow is triggered here where it gets, again, the product image, it, of course, also extracts the prompts that were generated before, and then it will loop over each of the prompts for each of the ad variations here and generate five different ads. We're using Google Nano Banana Pro, of course, here to uh, replicate because it's a bit easier. So we use the Replicate API to access Google Nano Banana, right? And then we request the ads in a second API call. And we do that for all five and, of course, upload them into uh, the Airtable and then we update the status of um, the request here. Now, the next two workflows are very similar as the, the second and the third, but the difference is these get triggered when a reference image was uploaded because then we want to sort of follow the style of that reference image. So we, again, download the original image, product image, and the reference image. We analyze the reference ad in a one LNM step here, and we use that to generate the ad prompt for the five ad variations. Again, the prompt will be put back into the Airtable so the user can still make some adjustments if he wants to. And then uh, in the next workflow is the same one to actually generate the five ads, but based on the reference image. And then the last flow uh, will get triggered whenever uh, someone wants to create the ad, ad copy for a specific ad. So as you can see here, again, it downloads uh, the original product image for some extra reference and uh, it uses an NNM to write the ad copy. Again, if you want to clone this template, you have to import the JSON file of NADN and clone the Airtable database and setup and interface. You'll then need to connect your Airtable accounts in these nodes of the Airtable, your perplexity API here at the top. Of course, you have to add your LNMs to these LNM nodes here, and you have to connect your uh, replicate API key, which is uh, pretty cheap to use. So uh, it's not going to cost you more than a few cents per generation. And then lastly, of course, you have to connect your specific webhook, which will be unique to you, to yours, uh, to your Airtable database, which if you go into the database, you can find in the automation section. Here's where we update the script with your webhook. The next system is a competitor price tracker. Uh, we built this for two companies that promised their customers to always have the lowest price on the market. Now, because prices and discounts and price changes happen all the time, uh, this is a great system that allows a company to track uh, competitors' products in real time, and uh, they also get notified through Slack whenever a competitor has a lower price. Now, again, we use a combination of Airtable here and NADN, of course, for the back end. And we also have a dashboard here where you can easily see the price changes, but also track the prices of a specific product in the past. So basically, they can just go in here, add a new product they want to track. Then they can add in all the competitor URLs for that product. So for example, we have Adidas Ultra Boost 5X. We can add in all the competitors here with the links. And then the system will uh, start with a scheduled trigger 
uh, which can be set on any time interval, let's say every two hours or every six hours. It will then get all of the products first and then loop over each of the products in this sub workflow here. And the sub workflow will loop here over all of the different competitor URLs inside of one product. And then you can see we use the Firecrawl uh, URL scraper to scrape the website's data, which we then pass into an LLM to extract the price of the product that will be updated to Airtable, of course, and it will loop over all of the competitor URLs. Now, just to keep in mind, Firecrawl uh, can scrape all websites. Some e-com websites are famously known to have a lot of anti-scraping methods in place. So if your specific use case for a competitor is not scrapable with uh, Firecrawl. You can uh, use some other APIs to scrape websites. The one we've seen work best for hard to scrape websites is Scrapfly. Uh, Scrapfly is another API you can use that has uh, some more advanced ways of, of scraping websites. So if it doesn't work for you, you can check out this one and integrate it instead of Firecrawl. So basically that's all the system does. Not, not too complex, I think. And of course the price is put out in the in the table here and then through the dashboard they can track it of course again we have a database in the back end here this can also be managed from here um, but that's it pretty straightforward system if you're going to clone this template what you have to want to keep in mind is you have to again of course clone the air table uh, dashboard and database uh, then you uh, have to connect um, the air table nodes to your specific account uh, you have to connect your firecrawl api i think you can start for free with firecrawl and of course, uh, the Slack um, integration here. By the way, this Slack integration serves this LLM basically analyzes if your comp if a competitor has a lower price than yours, and if so, it will send uh, a Slack message to notify you. Again, if you want some help setting up these templates or maybe customizing them a bit for your specific use case, you can check out my accelerator where we also give you that one-on-one -on -one tech support, unlimited. You can book on a call with one of our AI engineers and they will help you out. We also have lots of courses on how to acquire customers. We have many more templates. So if that's interesting to you, you can check out my accelerator. Now that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn how to get clients for your AI agency, you can also check out the video here above.